Yo, YouTube. All right, so, you know, I get this question a lot. And, you know, when working with a digital team, people ask me, how do you guys like stay in touch? Uh, you know, how do you guys communicate with one another, right? How do you guys stay on the same page? What we mainly use is Slack, right? And this is what we use for direct communication when I like need to talk to someone right away, when I need to make a quick call to someone on my team, this is what I use. So there's a lot of other messaging apps out there too that some people may use. Some people have team, their teams on WhatsApp. Some people have their teams on Skype. Some people have their teams on Facebook Messenger, Telegram. Uh, that one's pretty interesting too. But what I see work best for my team and what I seen to be like an industry standard between like other tech startups and Amazon sellers and any entrepreneurs really is to use Slack as a communication channel, right? So Slack is, you know, like slacking off <laughs> basically. So it's a very interesting, funny name that they chose, I guess. But this is Slack. This is what the website kind of looks like, right? But I'm just going to show you like how I have my Slack set up, why I like it um, and how you guys can use it for your team too, all right? So first of all, you know, the reason you want to use Slack is to keep your team on the same page and have a area to facilitate, you know, like communication, have people engage with one another, right? Because when you're growing your team, you're not going to be able to communicate with every single person on your team all the time. You need your team to talk to each other, right? When you're growing a business, keep in mind that ideally you don't want to talk to more than like seven people ever, right? These seven people should have other people that you talk to or there should be some group communications, right? If you're talking to multiple people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, then it gets, it really boggles you down and it, you might end up being the choke point for growth within your company. No! So keep that in mind. So the nice thing about Slack is that you can have like different Slack channels, all right? So this is like my Slack channel and this is what my team has, okay? So you can set up these channels where you can have these different conversations with different groups. You can have it private, there's different people in it. So just give you an idea, right? Uh, Amazon operations, is anything general Amazon operations, Bolo's quarter four, this is kind of back in the day when I did retail arbitrage, right? So this video is gonna go anywhere from RA to wholesale to private label, anything like that. It can be used for any business model on Amazon. So I also had an eBay channel, a graphics channel for any of my designers, anything inventory lab. Sometimes I have to tell my team like, hey, update this cogs or update this setting, pull this thing. There's an error here. Inventory labs is where it kind of happens. By default, when you create your Slack channel, there's gonna be a Slack channel where it's called general. I just call it living room because I like to imagine me and my team like having conversations in our living room within this channel. So it's more casual of like just anything goes, just like funny stuff, just like, oh, like check out this article or la la la. So that's what living room is. Just the product ideas is basically some of my like all private label ideas. So it's kind of like me and my like team in China. That's where we kind of conversate when it comes to separate channel just for that because reorders are super, super important in business. You never wanna be out of stock and you always wanna know where your shipments is. So we just kinda of have all those conversations around re reorders in that area. Restock Pro, this is a tool, I guess in the Amazon space that may, if you guys want me to make a video on, I can make a video on. But I use it to kinda of help me forecast like how to you know reorder inventory and things like that, okay? Sourcing, this is kind of like more private label ideas in general. I don't think we use this as much as product ideas, but it was supposed to be like all things related to the very front end of sourcing. Video, this is like some of the YouTube stuff or like video editing in general. This is specific to YouTube. It's where I clean that up, you know, but you know, there's Hoso and Wins. So that Wins is just like anything good that happens, like post it in there, right? And that's how it should be. But ideally, there's also areas where you can direct message your team. Right, and there's also apps you can really install too. So I like having Asano and Asana and Google Drive hooked up to mine because those are like other apps that I use too. If you guys want me to make a Asana video of how I have it set up, please let me know in the comments below. If I get enough, you know, like comments and likes on whoever posts about that, I'll go ahead and make a video on that. 
But yeah, you know, some of the features that I really like is that you can tag people when you're talking to people within uh, Slack. You can start a thread. So sometimes like someone will put like a wall of paragraphs right? uh, or a whole bunch of sentences. And then it's like point one is this, point two is this, point three is this. And sometimes it gets confusing because like all the messages like are, you know, in one line. So what Slack allows you to do is they allow you to create a thread. So like based on like point one, you can just hop into like its own like side conversation really quick, right? And it's easy to like just stay on the same page because it doesn't show up in the general conversation right here, but it only shows up in on the right hand side right here in like its own thread, okay? But other than that, you know, tagging people works really good with like the Google Drive suite. The emojis are fun, you know, to use too. And then one thing I like to do is like I set statuses, right? Uh, basically to kind of just like let people like know like where I am, if I'm like gonna be out of office or anything, and that's how people stay in touch. Also, you can make phone calls, you know, basically Slack, and that's like one easy way for me and my team to like really reach each other really fast if we need to. But all in all, right, so Slack is kind of just basically where my team like congregates, where my team has conversations, where my team asks is like, hey, can you help me really quick on this? Hey, can you take a look at this really quick? Or like, hey, I just sent you this link, please check it out, blah, blah, blah. And that's where those fast conversations happen, right? But anything like really project-based and if it's really tied down to a task, then we put it in Asana, okay? So Asana is more project management, Slack is for more instant communication think like text messaging kind of style right and that's how me and my team use it so i'm curious right how do you guys use slack do you guys have cool certain channels that you guys have too that you <laughs> i, I want to know like what channels you guys have because i you know i would love to shower off some other channels if need be and yeah you know if the video helped you and you started using slack because of this please let me know in the comments below i love hearing that people started using tools or started implementing something because of my advice and it makes me feel better at the end of the day. So, see you guys, have a great day. Later.